Hello, this is Haku the Beat, and I am here with SCP-162, also known as the Ball of Shark. If you like the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you do not like the video, then that is on you, and uh, honestly, I'm way too stressed for time to actually come up with something clever to say right now. Let's get into it. I have a number, SCP-162, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-162 is to be kept in a sealed steel container at all times. Any handling is to be done with thick steel plate gloves and heavy body armor. Any personnel attempted to touch SCP-162 without proper protection or acting in an erratic or non-responsive manner are to be immediately removed from the containment area. All of our still are submit a mental testing and review for two weeks after interaction with SCP-162. <sighs> Description SCP-162 is a mass of fish hooks, fish lines, needles, scissors, and other sharp objects in a rough ball shape close to 2.4 meters or 8 feet in width and 2.1 meters or 7 feet in height. After being in SCP-162's Vicinity, subjects have reported feeling drawn to the object in order to touch it. The desire can extend for several weeks after seeing the item, becoming an obsession in many cases. The draw increases the more SCP-162 is observed, and subjects will become violent towards anyone attempted to restrain or remove them from SCP-162. Touching SCP-162 will immediately result in several hooks becoming entangled in the subject's skin. The experience is extremely painful much more so than normal fish hooks. Struggling or attempting to escape will ensnare the subject more, likely resulting in the subject's complete entrapment on the surface of SCP-162. Subject will bleed profusely, resulting in, the, in death after a prolonged period of time. A subject whose skin is impenetrable to SCP-162's fish hooks, such as SCP-162, 1063 have proven to be immune to SCP-162's compulsion effects. Attempts to remove a subject from um, SCP-162 will result in the entrapment of the removal of the remover or gross broadly hot over to subject's flesh. So so many times cycle between expressing extreme pain and requesting assistance to statements into pleasure and requests to be left alone. Leave attempts to grab and entangle personnel attempting to rescue them. The activation of SCP-1114 within the proximity of SCP-162 has proven to be an effective means of freeing a subject from entrapment, though SCP-162's compulsion effect still remains. That was SCP-162, a mass of sharp objects that seems to compel that seems to compel most people into of touching it and most likely entrapping themselves in that mass, which will eventually cause them to bleed and possibly, well, die. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. If you didn't like the video, then you wasted only four minutes of your time, and maybe you shouldn't complain about that. It's less time than usual, after all. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!